Basketball Day in the DMV. A return to the home arena for Etan Thomas, where he spent seven seasons playing in a Wizards uniform. I spent a lot of years, you know, with the Wizards, so that was like home. So it was great, you know, the reception was great, you know, talking to different people. It was always great to go back. What's going on, Cub? <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. You doing all right? I'm good. How you feeling? Good, good, good. You right? here watching a little man play? It's been some years. Yeah, you know, these guys been in the area. Um, I've been away for, you know, quite some time. Guy I have a relationship with for so many years, and then to see um, now his kids, you know, and, and how they've grown. A full circle moment for Etan, getting the chance to watch his son Malcolm play on the very court he once patrolled the paint. For Etan to play at that high level for the Wizards today, and Malcolm to be on that same stage, I'm sure it had to be a proud father moment for him. I remember him being like a little kid. I remember when my wife told me that she was pregnant with him. You know what I mean? In, in the hallway right before I was about to come out. Um, you know, I remember walking around with him in my arm like this, you know, and it was really surreal watching him, you know, running up and down the court where I used to play. Still loose, comes down to Thomas. Short little five-footer is good. It definitely was a different experience. I've never played on an NBA court for one, let it let alone like that court where so much history, as far as like with our family. Um, that was where I grew up pretty much. As a junior on DeMantha's varsity basketball team, Malcolm Thomas led the Stags in rebounds and blocks. You know, Malcolm is a special, unique talent. I mean, he, he uh, athletically, I think he's probably one of the most athletic kids in the nation, not even in a DMV. Both my parents make up the complete aspect of how I play. My dad's ferociousness, um, his aggression, my mom was more of a finesse player. She was a guard, so she was more of a shooter. So I think I picked up both. And wisdom passed down from a father who played basketball at the highest level is a gift. Y'all didn't get your second win yet. The best piece of advice that I received, and it was while I was with the Wizards, from Popeye Jones. And he said, you're going to have great games. You're going to have terrible games. You know, the papers are going to talk great about you. Then they're going to talk terrible about you. Stay even kill. And I've really been telling Malcolm that for, for a long time. It's valuable lessons like those on the court that Etan translates for Malcolm off the court. Besides being a husband and father of three in his life after basketball, Etan Thomas is an author, podcaster, and civil rights activist. And, you know, it, it's interesting to see now him in a different space. Um, but, you know, really happy for you know, what he's doing, um, using his platform and his voice. And I think expressing his opinions the way he has has it's been helpful for a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. So as the old adage states, train your children in the way they should go. And as they get older, they will not depart from it. Let's me know that there's more to life than just basketball. So sometimes it's easy to get tunnel vision and realize I'm just going to play until I can't play no more. But then I really, I realize I have to have a backup plan. Like I have to set myself up. Like I enjoy writing like my dad does. There are aspects that he has that is, he has passed on to me, like the civil rights, um, what he feels, I feel as well with a, with a bunch of different situations. And I think it's very easy to forget that at times, but always having that reminder, like he's always in his office working before I wake up, like before I go to practice, he's up working, doing his own stuff. And that really keeps me grounded. So he was young, I'm taking him to different events with me. He's, he's writing his own poems and you know, starting out and getting his opinion out there and what he thinks and that's, and I want him to keep, you know, developing that. And it, it's, it's something that, you know, I think is important, especially for athletes, because while you do get tunnel vision is, and you can be focused and everything like that, you can't be so consumed where you think that that's all that you are because you're so much more than that. He's heard this a million times. 